Good afternoon everyone. Today we are here for the tutorial of clinical lab system, the product of Textfire. Now, starting with introduction, this tutorial will provide you introduction about Textfire clinical lab system, that how to use this product. Now, our content of discussion are installation of product, introduction that contains how to use this product and third, installation requirements. Now, coming to the installation of our product, we have to first run the setup. In setup, you could specify the installation directory if you want, otherwise it will uh, in install in default program files in C directory. Now, after you press next, it will start installation automatically. There are the some pre-requested component which are to be installed before setup. If those components are not installed on your PC already, it will al automatically start downloading it from internet. Now, starting with introduction. After you install, you have to start the setup. You have to start the project first. You will you would find project in Textfire after the installation Textfire directory. Now here the project is. Now starting with the introduction, clinical lab system provide a very friendly interface for clinical lab documentation and provide facility to produce lab reports for patients. Now coming to the menu of our product first um, option is lab details this contain information about clinical lab system which is to be printed over report header now in this we could go for like you I want to input a detail like text fire now www dot dot in you could go for any change you want uh, like MBS. now after I save this will prompt a message to you that the details are saved into database now coming to the second option test group here the test group option will provide you to detail to input text to groups and list of tests in those groups you could specify them coming to the test group here if you want a new test category okay first we go for editing I have already be saved some of the test category like we have biochemistry we have blood test you could uh, like I am doing or, uh, by pressing up and down arrow and arrow you could also go with this and you could also go through this list also if you want to like by uh, Vidal test you could just click on it it will go there by default it will give normal range a dash you could edit them like in blood test we go like I want a normal homoglobin from 9 to 16 HP for a normal person if you save next time you go come in homoglobin it will blood test it will give homoglobin to 9 to 16 now coming to the biochemistry like here we want to add another category uh, another test under the biochemistry category like test 1 and I, wa I don't want to specify the, nor the normal range to it then I have to leave this blank now after pressing save it will automatically save now next time I when I come in biochemistry it contains a new test that is test 1 if I want to delete you have to just select it or right click on it or to select delete or otherwise you have to press only delete button it will automatically delete now before uh, if you haven't pressed save it uh, the changes are not saved after you for saving the changes you have to press save button like this now after this you come in biochemistry you will find the three tests under it now if you want to add a new field that like is biochemistry and that is one biochemistry one and you want to add test under it bio test one with normal range 22 to 38 and bio test two mm, um, no symbols and bio test two is two normal range this and save it now after this you will see the new category in the category list you could edit it you could add new or whatever you want to if you want to delete a simple test as I have already discussed you have to select delete and then to save you you will find all the word that the particular test is been deleted 
but if you want to delete whole category you have to select that category and then you have to specify uh, click on that delete category option now after you save you will see the test category is deleted now coming to the next next option now here is the next option that is lab reports here in the lab report option the here the uh, report of patient with its uh, with its test results is documented from here you could also have hard copy of the report now coming to this option now in this you have to specify the patient name and patient details like age 10 months 5 months and ages and sex is male and address is 1298 sector 11 and sector 11 now contact number is 86990-3600 sorry Six double zero and he like kind by Rish. Now, after this, you have to input the test result. Now, if you want to input on biochemistry, you have to first click on biochemistry, and then you have to specify the test result. Like here, I specify 120. Now, in blood test, I in hemoglobin, I specify 12. In lipid profile, I specify in H HDL cholesterol, I have specified 45, and now in biochemistry, I have specified this 80. And you could see it will saving automatically the values which you are saving, uh, typing into the result column. Now, if you uh, type in result column like I have specified 0.8, and you press tab, it will switch to next column, but you have to switch into next row then for that you have to press enter it will automatically switch to next row now after uh, this you have to specify all re uh, remarks that all tests are normal set or normal now here now you could save it or you could have a save and hard copy of the report like I specify a save and print now here you have report also in crystal report format with the all the tests which we have done like biochemistry the two test results and has been inputted bio tests investigation homoglobin result lipid profile and these are the results you could export this report into some other format like you want to mail this report in pdf format you could specify it into pdf like you want to now you have to specify report a name of the report test after you save on the desktop and press enter you will have this report now you could check the report in PDF format is successful okay. now coming to the search here you could go for any kind of search with name or report you could go for editing of a previous report etc now coming to the search option now coming to the search option you could search it like I want to search by report number I have specified 20 and I want to click on search it won't search any record because there is no 20 number report number now I have specified one and there is one record now after I click on this report it will show all the inputted values which we have specified in test result from here you could go you could go for after selecting the report you could go for editing of same report or you could go for print out for report of same report and you could do anything delete report add new report etc and refresh list ok and this is the whole tutorial about clinical lab system thank you if you like it and if there are some complaints then you could contact us by our email id now uh, one thing i forgot to discuss is installation requirement it need two installation pre-request is first is dotnet framework 3.5 and Crystal Report 2008. Both of these are free from these URL, URL specified. Okay, thank you.